Hey guys, what's up? one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to an episode of Let's Build a City. I got throat problems today. <laughs> I don't know if I'm coming down with another cold or if I've just got something else going on because my, th you know that thing where it hurts when you swallow? That's what I got. I got a little bit of a blocked nose, but it's mostly like, you know, when you swallow and you get that pain and it's horrible. That's what I've got. I hate that. I haven't had that for a long time. It's the absolute worst. Today, we're going to finally be sorting out underneath this motorway here. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to turn some of these buses to face sideways and we'll line them up. We'll also probably get more, more buses out of this as well. So we're going to stack them sideways down here. Put a nice curb actually on here instead of this being open. I always thought it looked a little bit weird, all the buses being like facing the road like this. You always think, how do they park? They would clog up the traffic if they were trying to park like that. Uh, you know, trying to reverse in. So uh, we'll, we'll stack them sideways. I think we'll probably end up removing this pillar so we can have them facing that way. And I'll probably face them the other way as well. And then some of you guys suggested that we do like a... Uh, a bus garage confusing sentence uh, over there like for maintenance on the on the coaches so this is the actual bus station uh, but uh, over here will be like the the bus garage the bus mechanic if you like to keep them all running and keep them all clean so you know that's where they they service them and hoover up the seats and stuff so they don't look all disgusting like 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 most buses do <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of of riding the bus so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of play this safe and it's been a little while since I've done uh, anything with schematics so if I click that there's also some buttons missing on this side for some reason apart from that is the bus all good I think I must have just missed that from the last time now if I stand at the front of this bus and I do copy now I'm running off the top of my head here. If I do skim save bus, oh, it, <laughs> it worked. So I've got this bus saved now. Uh, so basically that means I can remove all of this. Let's just do a test over here. So if I if I do that and I copy that and then I basically lost the bus, if you know what I mean. If I then do skim load bus paste. We've got ourselves a bus. Now, obviously, the item frames and stuff, uh, don't, yeah, they pop up and stuff. But we've got ourselves uh, a bus. And we can then rotate and we can do whatever we, we like with that. And we can load it up whenever we want. Excellent. I should really do that with a lot of other stuff. I don't know if I can get up a list. Skim. Ah, uh, yeah, I can. Skim. List. There we go. Look. Monster. Motorway. Parts. This is like, uh, most of these are actually from when I initially made the world, before the series even started, you know, when I had all the roads in. Um, I, I saved, like, pieces of the road so I could just load them up and piece them together like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Uh, and that was probably the smartest thing I could have ever done. So, let's get rid of all of these buses. It's probably the only reason why this series has last, lasted as long as it has, was because I had all the roads done before we started. Set air. Kaboom. And. Well, I didn't really need that bus either, did I? Uh, set grass. Okay, so we've got a nice level terrain again. Those signs and stuff will despawn. I should have just got rid of this one as well. I've got it saved. Uh, sit there. There's probably a need to ways to do this, but this is going to do the job for us. Okay, we've just got to start here. Now, if we... Uh, I think it's smart if we get some buses in place first. So if we scam load bus, and then I'm going to want to rotate minus 90 degrees. And if I paste it, it should paste lengthways here. I have no idea where I need to exactly be. You know, that's pretty close. I could go with that and then stick the next one, like, one block in. Oh, it even took the road as well. That's a little annoying, but it, it's not the, not the end of the world. So I could actually stick this one down here. Paste again. And then we get that sort of inset on them then. You know, so it sort of goes in and out. The buses aren't 
all perfectly lined up. Um, where am I going to want to go? Here. I could do another one there. I could do this one out here. They should all be fitting nicely. Yeah, they are. They're all fitting nicely underneath the bridge. So I think we had uh, six before, wasn't it? Six buses. Might have even been five. But now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six just in the one line. I really, really like that. We can have a nice path there. We can have like a nice loading zone. Excellent. I could probably get away with copying and rotating the whole lot to uh, to save us a little bit of work. Let's get rid of this pillar. There is no easy way to do this, unfortunately. It's sort of, uh, that's the best one. And then you fill this in. I've, I've got rid of uh, a few poles from the motorway in the series, so uh, we've worked out the fastest way that I can think of doing it. Don't worry about a night vision potion. I mean, nothing going on at the moment. I'm placing down some slabs. If you guys can't see, don't worry. Yeah, not missing nothing. <laughs> yeah, back here. Such a big area when you take out these poles. You don't realise how much space they actually take up. Did I miss? Oh, I missed quite a few blocks. Look at that. All right. Now, you could world edit these in with the commands, but I always, I always forget the uh, the codes for upside down slabs. I know the ones for right, uh, like correct side up, but uh, upside down slabs have a different, um, a different ID, and I can, I can never remember it. So, if we grab all of these buses, so that should be that one, and then we come over here. I hate trying to talk with a blocked nose. It's just the worst, isn't it? <laughs> uh, if I stand here, and I could rotate, or uh, no, I think I'll flip. Uh, what direction is that? That way is east. Flip east. Now I should be able to come over here, and we need to decide how much room we want between the two buses. So we sort of need enough room for a bus to turn. So you need it to be like wider than what we'd normally go for. I'm going to say about here. And I always paste minus A, which is paste without air. I paste minus air. So you, you don't sort of end up uh, ruining other stuff sometimes. I think that will work quite well. Now I need to go around and put on all of the item frames and, and fix the buttons and stuff like that. But I think that could work quite well. Now, do we want to... I could fit. I could definitely fit like a, a garage underneath here. Again, we could take out that pole. Once, if you've got stuff underneath the bridge here, you won't even know that the poles are missing. These, these sort of support posts are just there to fill space uh, when nothing's there, you see. But uh, how do we want to do this? That side I could use for, for something else, okay? This is linked onto a road here. I could definitely build a building on that side. But on this side, this is a this is a big space, and I reckon I would almost like to do an L shape building that goes underneath here. I could probably leave that post in and just have the building built around it. That wouldn't really bother me too much either. Okay, let's plan that out then. Um, let's grab a block just to plan out a little a little shape, and let's have a look at the style of the but. I threw it on the ground. The style of the bus station. So it's a it's a modern style sort of house. It's got some real character to it, some real features. Uh, very sort of square base. I think it might even be a perfectly. Yeah, there's no ins or outs or nothing. So remember that. That's the sort of thing that we want to do. Uh, has like a very big glassy open look. Goes into it. Yep. Okay, so we can sort of build it. It's like leveled. This building comes in like four levels. Bottom, the carpet one, the glass one, and then the detail or the featurey one at the top. So, if we go, I could probably fit another bus in there as well. Uh, I think that's probably a good distance. I'm going to come in one more. So, there's the side. This is the back. I'm going to leave this part open. We can have like a path running through there and, and, and down to uh, down to there. Alleyways and stuff. I love... Love the alleyways in the city. 
Just makes it feel a little bit more alive. Now a bus garage has to be relatively large. So we need to make sure that we've got a depth on the garage part of it to be able to fit a bus in. So that can come out that can come out later there if we wanted it to. So we need to try and fit and make sure that a bus fits in here. So we'll just count how many blocks of buses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 would fit the bus in like perfectly like square. Hey piggy. Perfectly square. What was it? 16? Did I say 16? I forgot the number already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But obviously, we don't want the bus to just be able to squeeze in. We want to have some room to be able to walk around it. So, we'll add, get out of the way, pig, six blocks. You're like, the, you're the only pig in this entire world. And you want to stand right where I'm building. You're like, you, you must be one of the last passive animals left. I know there's a cow yet. There's a cow here. I saw that early before I started recording. <laughs> Just get out of my way. So we've added six blocks, which means a bus could fit in there uh, nicely now. And then we can run this back here. So this is going to be the, the front of the garage part. And then this is more of like a storage area. Um, off, more office space, anything like that. I'll probably end up getting rid of that, I think. So, uh, bus width-wise is four blocks wide, but then five, six if you include, like, the mirrors and stuff, um, and the buttons and all that. So six blocks wide is, like, the minimum for the bus to be able to get three. Three, four, five, six. But again, that might be a little bit tight. You could just add another one and have it seven, and I think that would be pretty good. Uh, we could leave three blocks in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Leave three blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I move... If I move that over by a block... There we go. And then we've got, we've got three, three garage doors that will all sort of allow a bus to fit in there. That would work out quite well. Okay, let me cut away for five minutes. I'm going to just put all these buttons on the buses before I forget. And I might do a little bit of this ground here and just tidy up the, the lines and stuff, okay? Okay, I think we're getting there. The actual uh, putting down the uh, uh, item frames and, and stuff wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> uh, it didn't take as long as I thought. And the buttons, on these buses, the buttons were like floating in air. But on the other side, all the buttons were right on all of the wheels. Very strange. Don't understand it, but not going to argue. So I'm just sort of lining out this outside area now of where I, oops, of where I want uh, like a path to go uh, along the backs of these. So for example, I can have that to there. Ooh, undo. Uh, we shall replace air with that. That'll stop that from happening. And we'll sort of wrap it down there. And then bring it all the way over to there. And then that can go down to there. And that should now be like a little raised path that we can use to walk around here. We'll put some details, some, some lights and whatever, what have you, uh, in around the place. This can then be changed to stone. Set stone. And we need the right direction one. Are we going to take a guess at 35.10? Set 35.10. <laughs> we got it right for once. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, now, I need to do one after the furthest point back. I thought I'd come back and show you some of this stuff. Because I know, I know you guys like to see it. Uh, do that. Fill a little hole that we've got going on here. I just changed the entrance, so I made it smaller instead of being that big, wide one. And uh, we should probably put, even though it's like a private area, um, we should put a little stop sign in on here. It just just makes that look a little bit neater. Uh, so we shall now change up all of these. I got rid of the wand, because of course I did. So if we go there, wrong one. 
that one. We want them all to be at the same distance out, length out. And we want them all to touch uh, this little stone part that we've got back here. So that they all come out to the same distance. And down there. And I've done that already. Sweet! This one down this side. I might... Uh, now, if I extend the path, it's just going to be a, that's going to be a lot of grey going on there. No, I can't. I can't do that. Oh, that's going to have to come up by another one. Then down to there. Then up this one. I think I think I've got the buses right. All I done was put item frames with snowballs on the front. Which was a real pain as I kept accidentally throwing the snowball and knocking the item frame off the front of the bus. And then item frames with redstone blocks in the back for the rear lights. I don't think I've missed anything else. I think that's too short, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. yeah. I don't think there was anything else that I should have um, put on the buses. Uh, we do... Um, let me know if I'm wrong though. I can't remember what the bus looked like to begin with. <laughs> it is a problem. Okay, so we've got that there. Now, I might actually... We could either have another entrance in here into the garage. Or I could like take a bus away and have this as like one big open planned area. Um, I sort of like the idea of having another entrance because I, I, I think that just looks neater. So, everything around here should be done now. That just looks neater by itself. It's a, it's a better use of the space, um, you know, spreading it out, giving us more buses. I like that a lot more, and it goes right underneath the bridge as well, which looks looks really nice. Uh, and this front one should be good as well. We'll probably be finishing this off next episode. But what was the gap between here? We sort of made up this gap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 is our sort of bus swinging distance. So if you go ish in the middle, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You know, that's pretty, that's pretty close. <laughs> that's pretty tight. Uh, we'll grab that. We'll plop those down in here. I never know how like these random ones appear. It must be just from like little world edits and stuff that used to be, we we do, and it just sort of throws things about a little bit. Never, I never know when I do that. Set stone. Okay, so we've got ourselves uh, the sort of next area in. Now, colours wise, we're not going to be able to do too much more in this episode. But if we can just plan out a little bit of a skeleton. Uh, it's like grey at the bottom with white on top. We can just sort that out so easily. Because it's, solid, it's a solid grey all the way around the, uh, the back here. And this number is 35.3. So if we replace 35.3 with 88, that's soul sand. Um, what number was it? I thought it was 88. 48. Aha. Boom. And that's changed that up. And then it's like glass above it. Now, being the garage, we don't want to have too much glass. Obviously, we're all glass looking into the garage here. That would just be weird. Um, but around this part, I think it'd be called around the offices to sort of mimic this, this wraparound glass thing that we have going on. I want to make it look like they're sort of from the same building. Now, we are very limited on height here. I think we're only going to be able to get this and this layer in. And it looks like we'll probably even have to shrink that down to two carpets. But I think that would work. I think that will probably be enough. I don't think I can shrink that down to... I'll just do it like a test part. You know, two blocks tall for the windows wouldn't look too bad over there would it just trying to think of a way that we can sort of squeeze squeeze more height out without taking away uh, the effect of it so we could have something like what 
like this. If I could place the glass on top. Let's get a night vision potion. Just so we can all see. Ta-da! And then have that on top. So that will have to go to there. Now the garages, we've got sort of the perfect spot here to be able to see. Obviously that would have to be full. And that would have to be full. Uh, the garage is going to have to be taller than our normal garages. Now, I don't think that would even fit under there. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks. This is what we need. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's how tall the garage doors need to be. Like, wow, that is that is really close to the top here. Really close. We're probably not going to be able to match this building up too well uh, against the other one to get the same style because we haven't got the headroom. And there's so much character in the height of the bus station. We're going to have to sort of just get it as close to as possible. We are going to have to find a way to put some depth on the uh, on the front of these so because that looks really flat really boring um i wonder if i can just place down one garage door and copy and paste for the other ones because these these are just a pain to place anyway let alone this big three times uh, see i just need to slow down be a little bit more patient Okay, let's try copying and pasting them. Bunk. Bunk. Yeah, copy. Paste. I have no idea. They, they've pasted, but I have no idea if they're going to work or not. Button. I think I can place these basically anywhere, can't I? Hey. <laughs> yeah, because we've got three blocks between them. We can activate these all individually. Amazing. That's so cool. So let's just change the block underneath the garage doors here to stone. So when they're closed up, they uh, they look right. That is cool. Like big garage doors, when they move like that, do look really sick. So instead of having three blocks uh, of height on this glass, we've changed it to two. Uh, replace uh, uh, with 160 uh, so that way we can then get the uh, what was it quartz slabs there are quartz slabs I'll grab them and they sort of hang over the edge a little bit here like this and then cyan clay it's perfect they're on the buses. I like how the building is like the bus colours. Like it just suits so well. Uh, so we have this with an orange carpet wrapped around it. If I can get a little bit of like that blue ice part in, that would be cool as well. I think I've probably got the room to do that on there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So if we get this cyan clay, then we'll go up here. This stupid post right in my way so I think that's as, uh, that is as high as we can go isn't it because we're gonna have to have a little bit of room on top of here just for a slab to finish was it white slabs yeah it was yeah like that and then the carpets go on those two yeah so that'll work i think that's gonna pull out as much of that style building into like we can already see that they're they're the same colors and stuff and on the front here we have again cyan and i reckon we could do something like this uh i need it sort of symmetrical one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then have the uh, the packed ice in like that. 
Galaxy. And then I'll go, that sort of wrap up and on top of the building, like how that one does. So I, th I think we could do something like that. Oh, it's running out. Perfect timing. If you guys enjoyed the episode, that's all we've got time for. Hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!